Hi kids! Today we will learn what's division. Let's learn it by an example. You have four candies. You want to share it with your friend equally. How will you share? You will make two sets of candies like this. And we'll give one set to your friend and keep one with you. So you divided four into two. Let's take one more example. There are nine marbles. How will you put them equally in three boxes? Let's see. First, put one marble each in a box. Marbles left. Now add one more in each box. Marbles left. Now add one more in each box. No marbles left now. Yay! You have divided nine marbles into three groups. Oh, wow! Now you know what does it mean to divide things? There are 12 flowers. How will you put them equally in three flower pots. Let's see. First, put one flower each in a pot. Flowers left. Now add one more in each flower pot. Flowers left. Now add one more in each pot. Flowers left. Now add one more in each pot. No flower left now. So, there are four flowers each in a pot. Yay! You have divided 12 flowers into three groups. Good! Now you know what's dividing. Now we will learn what's the relationship between multiplication and division. Do you know division is opposite of multiplication? Let's see how. Making three rows of four flowers each will make 12 flowers. And distributing 12 flowers in three rows gives us four flowers in each row. Can you see the relationship here? Let's try to understand better. You have a bunch of three flowers. If you multiply it with four, you get four bunches of three flowers each. Total 12 flowers. If you have 12 flowers, now divide 12 flowers in four groups. You will get three flowers each in a group. So division is opposite of multiplication. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye!